Welcome here to the Ride Along channel where I'm always using these Insta360 cameras and trying to work out different ways to get some fun views, some different angles and basically show skiing in its best possible way. And this, the new Insta360 pole mount, is a game changer for filming skiing. Now the pole mount here is super easy to attach, simply one bolt around the pole and away it goes. Comes with a different selection of sizes, the little rubber mount that goes in the insert just there, so it fits any poles. These ones just here are, I think about 1200 uh, millimeter in width, but it goes down to super skinny and way fatter than that. And it's rock solid. All you do is tighten up that little bolt just there, crank it on, job done. And then the cool thing about this is you take your normal Insta360, loosen off the, the outer piece, crank it into the middle, tighten up the other piece, and that's it done. You can ski like that on short mode, you can go full extension. It pretty much balances itself, so it doesn't feel like it's super heavy either. And that's the cool thing about it, they've definitely thought about the way this goes. You could go fuller extension, it's a little bit top heavy, but it's still not heavy heavy. Or you can film on the shortest mode if you're filming something a little bit more extreme. And you can flip it around, use it the other way, which I'll show you in just a minute. For now though, let's go for a little blast and show you what it looks like this way up. So, in my right hand, about half extension just now, just as I set up. Full extension, as long as it'll go just now. I've got a 1.2 selfie stick attached to it just here. Obviously, the view doesn't just have to look back though. Spin that view forward, spin it back, and right, you can see there, you don't need to hold it super tight, it's pretty much balanced in front of me. And I think it's a pretty great view of what's going on. See the difference? Short as it'll go just now. So I could use the pole if I wanted to. Now you can see I'm fully pole planting as I drop. Now if the view's looking forward, it's fine. If I keep the pole plants going, spinning the view back to me doesn't look quite right. So keeping that right hand steady, spin the view to me, it looks pretty good. Or extend it a little bit, even half extension. Looks great looking back at me. Now selfie stick implies that I have to film myself, but you've probably seen a bunch of stuff going on with these cameras where it kind of looks like a little drone's following someone else. So let's go full extension on the pole mount clapping on just here. All I'm doing is holding that camera out in front of me and trying my very best to keep up with Tristan up ahead. I really want to get it better. Let's get that camera even higher. We'll maybe bring it down low. Over to one side. And the cool thing is, when I drop this into the editing suite, whether it's on your phone or on your laptop, I could just select a great view if I'm holding it steady like I am now. Or if I want to get that action shot, let's get in, click deep track, and the AI in the camera, or the AI in the editing suite, does all the work for me. Following Tristan and his lefts and rights while I just cruise down the piece behind me, behind him, doing absolutely nothing. Too easy! So 
by a little bit of luck today, where I'm filming is on the stad here in Altoez, and I've come across a group of potential instructors doing some training. So just to show you how good these selfie sticks are, the fact that I really can't concentrate on this race course and where I'm going, I'm just full tilt chasing after them. And such a cool view, even if the racer comes out. Let's see for the next one. Full extension, blindly chasing this racer down. Here they come. Time to slide. filmed your mates using a follow cam style then you want something a little bit different simply unscrew this bolt here do, do, do. this comes with it by the way this teeny tiny little allen key thing i just keep it in my wallet most of the time pop that bit off flip it the other way around Do it up nice and tight. So now it's the other way around, ready to go once again. Tighten up, tighten up, let's go. A little tip if you're gonna be using it as the follow cam this way, is make sure the lens is pointing at the pole, just like that rather than side on. Basically, the magic AI in the camera just here that's designed to get rid of this selfie stick, if I turn it sideways, it can actually make your pole disappear as well, which kind of defeats the point of having it tucked at the back just there. You can have it quite short. It looks pretty good. I can show you that in just a second. Personally, I quite like the view where it's extended back beyond past the basket just there. That way, the basket, this is the bottom bit of the pole just here, and the rest of the pole all gets in the shot together. Let's go for a little ski and I'll show you what this looks like. So the pole is out the back of my left hand, which is why it sometimes looks a little bit odd because I'm not really using the pole. But I think I've sacrificed that slight bit of goofiness for what looks like a pretty good shot. In this view just now, I'll often use me mode the setting within the camera just to save any editing that I need to do later on. So it just points straight down the invisible selfie stick, point and go. Let's see. Make that hole super short. Now you can use pole plants as you go. The thing is, I look down at my left hand. Obviously, this is trying to get a nice view from my left hand as I go. The thing is, if I'm swinging it around all over the place, the view's never going to be still. As good as the old flow stabilization is, I'm making it look good. If I'm swinging that pole all around everywhere, it's never going to be a clean shot. So I do try and keep it still as I can whilst shooting. Now, most of what I've shown you so far is let's say full power action. But the cool thing about using the camera on the stick just here is you can cruise down the easiest runs and it still just looks amazing. It doesn't have to be full power, full send. It definitely doesn't have to just be pointing at me. It can be pointing in every direction, filming whatever's going on view in the distance. This very well known run here in Andoez called Marcel's Farm. Just a nice wide open green run. So I can get some cool views of the Blocon, the 
snowflake group. Into the sun. A very quick flash. This isn't using the deep track mode you saw earlier. This is just keyframes done on the desktop studio on my laptop. It's exactly the same doing on your phone. In fact, it's kind of quicker, I think, to transfer them onto your phone and do it through that. Get more accuracy on the de desktop, which is why I'm using this. Thanks for joining me here in Abduos for a bit of a ride along session showing you the Insta360 pole mount. The link to this product is in the description just below and if you look at it by cameras or anything else from Insta360 please use that link just below that would be much appreciated by me that's an affiliate link so you're basically saying thanks to me for making a few videos and sending a few pennies back my way as well. I'm based out here in Abduos and as you can see from the uniform I'm wearing I'm working for the local ski school ESF just here. If you want to book sessions on the piece or my personal favourite, and again, there's links to these videos in the description below, off-piece, backcountry and ski touring and exploring the amazing mountains we have here in the Grand Rue ski area, drop me a message. All the information is below this video. Whack subscribe, hit like, let me know what you think of these products just here, and I'll see you out here in Outdoors very soon. Let's go for a little ski. <laughs> Okay. Hey.